Okay, one more example, 2x minus y to the power of 4, and we're supposed to expand this with the binomial theorem. So we start with Pascal's triangle to get the coefficients, and you can always create Pascal's triangle pretty quickly on the fly if you need to. Just start with 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, and remember the top row is row 0, so this is row 1, row 2, row 3, I need one more row, it will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and those will be the coefficients I use in my terms to expand this. So I'm just going to work this through left to right, so I'll start with the 1 here, this will equal 1, and then I have the 2x to a power of 4, and a negative y to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is just 1, so we don't actually have to write that, so I'm just going to erase that. And then I'm going to move on to the next term. So now I have a put, a, put a plus sign there for your next term, and then we have a 4, and now we'll have a 2x cubed, and a negative y to the power of 1. And then the next term plus 6. Now we're counting down on our 2x coefficients, so that's 2x squared, and we're counting up on the coefficients for the negative y, and don't forget the negative sign, negative y squared. And I'm running out of room, so I'm going to skip down to the next line. Okay, and the next coefficient is a 4, so it's plus 4, and then I have a 2x to the power of 1, and negative y to the power of 3, and then plus 1 times 2x to the power of 0, and again you don't have to write that because anything to the power of 0 is just 1, so 2x to the power of 0, and then we have negative y to the power of 4, and then we just need to simplify each of these terms, and that's not too hard to do. So starting here, this 2, remember, is raised to the 4 as well as the x. So this is 2 to the 4th, which is 16. So 16x to the 4th. And then this 2 is cubed, so 2 cubed is 8, times 4 is 32. But don't forget the negative sign right there. So this is a minus 32, and we have an x cubed, and we have a y. We don't have a negative y because the negative sign is taken into account already right there. So minus 32x cubed y. And then plus, here 2 squared is 4, times 6 is 24. 24x squared. And then negative y squared is y squared. And the negative sign uh, disappears when we square it, so this term remains positive. And then here we have a negative y cubed, so this next term will be negative. And this is 4 times 2, which is 8, so it's minus 8x to the 1 y cubed. And then plus this uh, negative sign raised to an even power will go away, and it's just plus y to the 4th. And that's your answer.